our group, uh, our paper was on fan identification using public relations as a management function. And our group members are Elizabeth Fries, um, Lauren Coppage, William Inchman, Mary Featherstone, Samantha Badcock, and Megan Kreitz. So um, pretty much our paper jumped off the idea of um, using relationship management theory and applying it to the sports industry. Because the sports industry, we just felt, um, you know, it's a very different industry. It's a billion dollar industry, first of all. And second of all, it's an industry that really focuses on um, generating that emotional attachment with the team. So um, if you don't, you know, have that connection with your team, you're not going to follow them, watch all their games on TV, go to games and stuff. So, you know, we kind of felt like it was a misconception that that connection was focused on the win-loss record, and we thought there was, um, you know, quite an interest for us in how public relations could serve as the management function in facilitating that um, relationship between, um, you know, a community of fans and the team, and we kind of deemed that term as a level of fan identification. So um, that led us to our two research questions. The first one, um, we wanted to see if there was a correlation between the sports club's involvement in their community as well as their relationship with that community. So um, basically, the more they are involved and more visible in their community, does that correlate back to you know, more attendance at games and more fan gear being bought and um, you know, followers on Facebook and that kind of thing. And then our second question was based off the Spritzer and Snyder um, functions of sports scale. And this just surveys opinions about the general community's um, perceptions of sports, if they feel like it's beneficial for the society. Um, because we figured, you know, if the community didn't find it important, then why would we be researching it? So that's kind of what, um, where our inspiration came from. So when we looked at previous research that had been done, um, we found a study by Ferguson relating to PR um, that basically said that behavioral output and relationship is actually replacing just communication output as the basis to measure success of PR. Um, and based on this study, we found the Lettingham Relationship Management Theory, um, which basically says that PR practitioners can manage the op um, organization public relationship, and it, um, if they do this successfully um, based on the common goals of the organization and the public, um, then both sides will benefit. Um, in the area of sports, we defined community as any group of fans who identified um, with a sports club. So that was our definition for community. And then um, for public relations practitioners in the sports field, um, the goal of that community is to create fan identification, as Elizabeth said. Um, since public relations practitioners can't affect on-field success, um, this is a way that they can actually help strengthen their team regardless of how the team performs. All right, for our data collection, we chose to use an online survey because it was inexpensive we ended up sending 1,443 emails to public UGA email addresses, and 1,355 were successfully delivered. Um, our survey consisted of nine sections, and that included the consent agreement. Um, and respondents were first asked whether or not they considered themselves sports fans. And then we asked them, it was an open-ended question, which sports club they most closely identified with. Um, the remaining questions were, Likert, five point Likert scale questions, and there were 42 of them. And we used both the relationship management scale that Lettingham created and the psychosocial functions of sports scale that um, Spritzer and Snyder um, created. And those measured communication between sports clubs and fans, the monetary and emotional investments in fans, and the value of sports to society. Um, with the two scales, we wanted to measure the benefits of the interactions between an organization and its publics and wanted to confirm the benefit of sports to society. Um. So for our survey, of those who indicated if they were sports fans or not, 69.8% said that they were sports fans. So using the relationship management scale and the psychosocial <laughs> function of sports scale, we found eight factors, or eight items that gave us two factors. The first factor was, um, indicating that respondents do find that the com that community involvement is important. And our second factor was asking respondents to uh, give us opinions on if they thought sports was important to society. So we used a uh, t-test to find this correlation and we used 
gender and if they were sports fans or not and determined that men did think that sports were really important to society whereas women didn't really find this correlation to be important. Another t-test showed that um, uh, factor two, the society factors, uh, indicated that sports fans believe that sports have a, a beneficial societal impact and personal benefit. And factor one and sports fans, whether they were a sports fan or not, indicates that there's a significant relationship between in community incorporation and its importance to society. So basically what our results mean um, is that sports fans and non-sports fans feel that sports um, can benefit society and um, community involvement, um, and that strengthens fan identification. So, the practical application for PR practitioners in the sports world is that if they promote their team's community involvement and the benefit that their team can have to society, they'll strengthen their fan identification. Um, and this is regardless of on-field performance. Um, we found a study about the Boston Red Sox baseball team who, had, at the time of the study, had statement or send out another wave of emails to try to get last minute respondents. Um, respondent error was another limitation in regards to the question of which professional sports team do you most closely follow and many um, respondents indicated a college level uh, or amateur level sports team so we had to change our research to explore all sports teams not just professional sports teams. And um, Future research um, should include a measure to determine fan loyalty, not just sports fan or non-sports fan, but um, to what degree uh, of, a, of a fan they are, as well as um, observing sports fans or non-sports fans, um, observing them instead of just the perceptions. <laughs>